yeah, who's gonna, who's gonna get in with this one? Oh, well, you time. guys, you you guys already just threw it at me before yeah, well, I did my yeah. research on this one. <laughs> but anyway, research. no, it's because you guys don't want to debate the topic. I want to debate. But anyway, we'll talk about it next we'll, time. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so um, freestyling. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is freestyling really what freestyling is? Uh huh. These days. Do people just come through and just rock up with their cell phones and just recite lines? Is that freestyling? Mm. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? I, I didn't even know we were talking about that. <laughs> See, that's a <laughs> thrill of me too, right? Don't <laughs> worry. At the end of the day, we're here to chat about it. Yeah. I don't know. I find it weird, especially when I get guys who come into the studio and I'm like, okay, I ask them off air. Because I know how awkward this chat is. It's always like, mm. okay, the fans Trying want you to, to freestyle. Me. Let's jump into it. And they're always like, nah, 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 nah. And I always find it so weird because I'm like, but your job is to rap. Are you telling me you can't go off the dome? Or mm. I can't speak on it because I don't rap. So yeah. I don't know how hectic I, it is for you to think about sings. it. She sings. She doesn't rap, she uh, sings. I just think about it. That's my thing. Not everyone can yeah. freestyle. Some guys are great writers, but they're not good at freestyling. So if you don't know how to freestyle, just don't freestyle. I think, I, I mean, yeah. we, we came up I in an know. era where the term freestyling... Not did. me. Not you. I said, I said we. Yeah. You know, I, I reserved you. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be able to speak on your young counterparts. Yeah. But we came up in an era where freestyling meant, like, see freestyle off the top of the dome, beat right there and then. And then I think it got comfortable when American artists, because it started in the States, Lando, uh, when you go on a Hot 97 freestyle, then you'd hear, hi man, I've heard this verse yes, yeah. the, on a track before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, I'm actually like, ah, I can't find I'm just kidding your freestyle. Obviously, I'm going to read on my phone, or I'm going to say a verse that I recorded, I'm going to my eyes. Yeah. Uh, there are guys who can still freestyle. Mm. Young, Tommy young is a crazy freestyle yeah. artist. Aida. He's a crazy proverb. Yeah. If you still consider him a hip-hop head. Yeah. 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 P.O. Youngster. P.O. Uh, youngster. 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 Yes. Youngster does this thing yeah. where he performs now and he includes the freestyle in his performance. Wait, and yeah. I love that. that in the, vain. No, There's a lot of guys. Youngster. Because he puts it on a level that it's like... Like you said, he performance. Everyone is there. He's asking people to hold up things. Yeah. And he, it shocked me when he did it the first time. It was I saw him the, doing it for the first time at Cotton Fest. Yeah. It really, really shocked me, and it was good. Yes. Yeah. And I think what makes what what also that kind of shows is his level of fluidity, his creativity, mm. and the fact that he can say, "I'm still an original rapper." This so is he what probably you read a lot of stuff. You know what? That same gig reminds me of it. reminds me of something, and I was having a conversation. Okay. About that same big youngster where I saw youngster freestyle for the first time. I think it was a uh, sneaker exchange, yeah. right? And I was having this conversation with Zaid Osman the other day, and we're like, "Where the fuck is Mashaya?" Mm. I know it's got nothing mm. to do with freestyling, mm. but where the fuck mm. is Mashaya? Mashaya, Mashaya went back home, um, but he went into some trouble with the guy he was working with. Yeah, Mono Kevin. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, Kevin was his manager slash A and R person, whatever, getting him out there. And they went through some trouble, and and this is round about the time that Java came and popped up. Mm. And a lot of people kind of feel like um, I remember those talk where he it's, it's Java ran off. with yeah. what Mashaya, Mashaya yeah. introduced. Mm. And even though that's true, I I do still feel like they are different entities. Yeah. That they still could have coexisted. Different. Mm. And if you're that dope and you invented something, well, stick around and show us how dope you are since mm. you invented that something. Mm. Um, and I and I feel like he really, he really, um, there was Moisa, and then he just went home, and then he just went quiet. Yeah. So I was finances, wondering. He's probably finances as well. I just think... And he was killing it. Mashaya was in Paris. Okay, Mashaya so he was, was making he was, money. He was making money. Mashaya okay. was a he was, coca -Cola. he was also a producer for a TV. He had like he a had real a job. a real job oh, working okay. with Amanda DuPont, uh, shooting. Yeah. Like he was, he was sorted. Um... I don't know. Also, Abandaba needs to kind of say maybe a calling vibes happened or whatnot. Yeah, but he's yeah. also one of those guys who, when you when you when you meet him, talk to him, see him, it seems like so many other things are happening in, in his, his head. head. Mm. Okay. You know, and okay. and no one could put it down to something. I will not say he didn't have a calling, but I wouldn't be shocked also if he did. Yeah. But I did see him at Nadia Nakai's launch. Nice. Oh, Crazy enough, yeah. and it wasn't nice. 
because he didn't look coherent. Oh, wow. And I'm one Chonga, and he just looked at me up and down. We didn't even greet. And I, I oh, wanted to and go what happened? And nothing saying. happened. Nothing. I don't. I, I don't know. <laughs> but what's the poison box? I mean, <laughs> what should I get? What's the poison box? <laughs> what's the poison box? Poison box and associates. He was the associates part. Okay. Cool. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, and he just looked at me up and down. Then I looked at him up and down. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> then, say. Then, then he just turned away and walked away. And being me. You know, I was gonna walk up to him, but like, no, what's going on? Then I was like, actually, fuck this, man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this. I need to shit to you. Bro. I'm gonna shit. Uh, At 37, I'm not gonna be trying to be friends with everybody. Yeah, <laughs> you get to a point where you, you get to a point where you're like deuces. Hmm. Anyway, we still need to kind of wrap up this uh, freestyle chat. So, I, I don't know. I think we're also trying to sit back and say, okay. We want people to freestyle. Do we allow them to read? Because like you're saying, not yeah. everybody's a freestyler. No. Not everybody's a writer. But there's yeah. people who go onto shows and they say, okay, well, this is a freestyle show. Po uh, points in case um, uh, Sway's uh, uh, five-finger freestyle yeah. that he does on the show. Everybody wants to go on the show because they understand the magnitude of being on Sway's show. But then you go with a creator, well, a written verse. So it's not really a freestyle. At what point do we let it go or do we not call it a freestyle because but now I, I think they're with, reading? I think with such shows, there are, if, I don't know if I'm wrong, but maybe the artists will correct us as well. I think they do say, yo, choose the beat, we'll play it, and you just rap. So you can come there prepared. But yeah. if you know that you're a freestyler, then you'll have to come there prepared. Mm. It's either <laughs> that. That's what I'm saying. The preparation thing still kind of throws me off because I'm just like, it's not a but then it's not a freestyle. Yeah. Don't let's, call so it let's, that. Let's change it. Let's change it. The name of it. Yes. Rather than call it something else, say like I'm just gonna do a verse. Yeah. So, 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 Don't call it a freestyle. So if you're, you're not freestyling. So maybe we should go back to when we still used to have ciphers. Should we go back to those days? They're not gonna hear that. These kids, I mean, the kids don't give a damn because the, the kids don't, don't. The kids don't freestyle. I'd, I love, have a, I'd love to hear a new school boom bap. Me as well. I think the Arkis, the Arkis, the Arkis making. That's the difference. Is some new school boom bap. That's the difference. That's the I'll difference. Check that out. Yeah, he's really dope with it. Are man. there some are some new new kids who are freestyling who you could say they could freestyle? I don't. I Jimmy West, I think, can probably freestyle. Yes. Yeah. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy West, uh, Adib, Shabs, Shabs, and Medallion. Oh, Shabs. Oh, yeah. Shabs is a freestyle artist. Shabs is a freestyle I think the other guys who will probably freestyle. Chavez actually okay. Well. He, he can even, remember what he did. Shane, but it wasn't even freestyle. Shane can still kill it. Oh, okay, my yeah. bad. Huh? It Shane. Okay. Shane can still fl can he freestyle? I'm sure he can. Shane's a beast, eh? Yeah. Huh? Shane yeah. 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 is a fucking beast. Do you know who was really <laughs> dope? I had some really dope freestyles come through on the show recently. Uh, Big Zulu killed it. Yeah. Everything in that Kabi rap. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He calls it in Kabi rap. I was like, yo. And I literally just gave him a beat, and I was like, okay, one year. And I was like, yo. That dude was nice. Big Zulu? That dude is nice. Who's yeah. he signed to? I think he's Indian. Yeah, he's Indian. Yeah. He's Indian. Yeah. Yeah. Right nice. Duncan yeah. also came through with a really dope freestyle. Oh, yeah. El Tito can freestyle. Can he? Tito. Okay. Tito. I haven't Tito seen him freestyle. freestyle. El Tito can, can freestyle. Ask, can ask, freestyle. ask the two reasons. You, you, you and, can and, really and listen to 10 Mac as well, I guess. He, he can freestyle. He can freestyle. He can. I've seen, I've seen, him, around, yeah. I've seen him kick mad freestyles in the studio. The Les is the, okay. the, okay. the king also, because he For also real. just comes with like... Yeah, that was three years of Yeah. yeah. Mugs. Um, Mugs. One of, the, one of the kids who I also think... Touchline. Touchline. That's really yeah. dope. There's the kid. He's doing pretty well right now. Who's he signed to? He's I Indian. Know. Well, Motherland. No, I don't think so. We had him on our show last is he, night. Is he going from Motherland? In, I was listening to the oh, interview yes, he though. Was he's not, yeah. And he's, he's also, he's, he's got quite a head on his shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He's very different. He does. Yeah. 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 He's quite a. Um, he's also good with the freestyle. He's in touch with who he is and, you know, he understands what he's doing. Yeah. But he's been there. He comes from the days of Caesar School. Okay. You know what I mean? So mm. he's but seen But he was younger back then. Yeah, yeah but he didn't have that life him. He used he, to come. Yeah, he grew up and he, he probably studied. It's what I say to everybody. There's Daddy. always somewhere out there studying what you're doing. Yeah. So he yeah. probably studied the pros and everyone. They're like, okay, cool. This is how guys did it. Okay, mm -hmm. this is how I'm going to do it better. seems like he could freestyle, no? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Well, Kiddex, Kiddex, I know he doesn't write. He doesn't yeah, so he yeah. kicks... He's always and in the studio. And he can eight languages. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the hell? What's crazy. up with that also? <laughs> Every time I speak to him, I'm like, which kid X are we going to get today? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's going to a nice transformation. When he, was, yeah. when he was growing up, um, his father's a policeman. Mm. So around. his father would always be at different places. Yeah. So growing up, he lived in different places. Sure. He lived in a place where it was uh, predominantly Zulu, yeah. predominantly Sotu, sure. Ndebele, like that. So that's why he speaks. 
Does an artist and he's also very intelligent. Eh? Yeah. He's very intelligent. Like he's actually. super intelligent. Yeah. Does, 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 does an artist lose some credibility to you if they can't freestyle as a hip hop artist? Do you care? Nah. Personally, I think no. today people don't care because yeah. there's not it's not a thing anymore. I yeah. think because there's not that many ciphers. Because that's where that's where the clout mm. came from. The clout came from the ciphers. Mm. So if you could come in and literally outwrap everybody in the room, you were the guy. Mm. That's why Dumi also used to do these. What was those things that they do in like those? Uh, first of the month. No, no not no, first no, of the month. month. There uh. was this event that used to happen where Dumi. Oh, the the battles. The battles. Yeah, yeah the battles. Those, those yeah. battle things. Yeah. 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 Scrambles yeah. for money. Scrambles for money. money. Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> not everyone can be. Not everyone is a battle rap. So, I've never so, been so, so, so those were. That's where the clout came from. So because there's no more ciphers, I think that's why people don't care about freeing anymore. And for me, I'm just like, okay, but that was part of the talent. So, you know, but I guess I think it's writing also is also... Ev evolution, because if you think about it, it's like saying, uh, back then there used to be DJ battles. Yes, yes. You know, there's, that's there's true. no longer DJ battles yeah. now. And we don't scratch where scratching was scratch, a thing. You know, so I think it's, it's just yeah. evolving also, as well. The scratching, I'm, I'm glad it's kind of bounced. I think there should be parties for scratching, mm. but it, it, it really got weird when a nigga scratching in the club. Yeah. Why? It's just too much. It's just like, I'm not coming to hear your so, DJ prowess yeah. in the club. Yeah. I mean, but that's I mean, the point of DJing, is to show no, the no, skill. No, no, in the club, I am coming to hear <laughs> your music selection, okay. not your DJing prowess. Okay. In your DJing prowess, maybe we can take it to a sneaker exchange, and there could be a DJ battle exchange. <laughs> but for the club <laughs> team, I want to know. Oh, Lily, Lily. Not to hear. Not to hear. Because he does this thing where he plays and he goes, <laughs> and then another song comes in. I am done with that. But don't now. Apples and whatnot. I think I think you're just stressed by the fact that in the club you're there because you just want to hear your favorite song. So you're drunk and you just want to hear it yeah, and you just want to dance. I'm not trying to so now when we're busy, are we fooling? Can you scratch, Noni? I can't. I wouldn't lie to you. I really can't. Can you nah, I'm bad. Who's, who can play vinyl here? I, I can. I learned on oh, vinyl. Oh, you guys can play vinyl? Yeah. yeah. We need a party with some vinyl, man. My, my brother and them host the party. It's called Crate Digging. Yes. Come on. Yeah, the ball or here? No, yeah, dude, yeah, the but beach. they only have house DJs. No, I'm Joe, Sila, Kada, Asush, Beat Moshini. There's a lot of bad guys that go there. Switch. So with those guys, they actually feel like now hip-hop is probably... Not at the same point because they don't scratch anymore. Yeah, they probably think and, it should change and, the and, name. And, and I understand because obviously it's like things have just changed and now mm. we're probably letting people dictate to us what we should do. And I don't think it's correct, no, I don't think that's what DJs should be doing. What? You know what I mean? To being dictated as the crowd that like, I want this song, you must play this song or whatever, mm. right? Yeah. And it's about just saying, if you scratch, do it nicely, do it cleanly. It's your art. Yeah. Do it. I don't know, judge anybody. Yeah. Like, mm. I'm like, do your thing, dog. That's you. You know what the problem is with scratching in the club, guys, Kaloko? On the dance floor, see a dance, I spit on my body. Hey, hey, now you're scratching. Now there's a time where I have to stand still. And wait. Do the way. They put it on a show. They put it on a show, Scoop. I'm not saying they must send to my nigga. I'm saying that, do you understand that for the person that's paying your bill at the club, now they must stand still and wait for you yeah. to finish your chicky 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 but come, come to industry sundays there's no scratching oh industry sundays gosh. every sunday show I, I, I saw a tweet yesterday i, I think might fuck around and be out there ah. please. but you're please not come. drinking anymore yeah, I, I saw, I saw, I saw, fun, I saw yeah? a tweet i saw a tweet where somebody actually said could see it's so painful listening to hip-hop djs now because it sounds as if we all sound the same yep. because of that clinical playing where we're yep. just playing for the crowd yep. and we're not trying to scratch yep. and, and show prowess and yep. show the mixing yep. so on one end scoop you're yeah. saying just play the song bro i'm here to get drunk other people are like but you're boring because everybody sounds the same i i, I feel like i feel like that shouldn't be a problem everyone should have a way they stand out. I have my ways that I stand out. Like, we can play the same 40 songs. Trust me, we're not going to play it the same. Yeah. I have my ways of putting mm. up my show. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's... it's yeah, that's a good point that you've raised because uh, someone was also saying that, like, what's the use of booking him, you, and you at the same time? No, you can. Yeah, I feel you. Now, now you're saying it, you know, but they weren't getting it. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, that maybe you DJs have also become a little bit relaxed. <laughs> no, 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 no. You always be hitting the artist. Maybe you DJs are also no, a bit relaxed. I actually, I Why actually you saying we're tweet. relaxed? I like, he, like um, in terms of uh, how do hip hop DJs stand out? Mm. Because if you, if it's just about music selection, if I book Capital and I book you and I book Speedster, 
am I sure that you guys are going to stand out? And this is the crowd saying this, this is the people. So as much as we ask hip hop artists to elevate their game, how can DJs do different or stay interesting? Just stay interesting. And how? Obviously, scratching is a problem. No, for, for you. For me. <laughs> find, find ways to stay interesting. That's simple as that. Yeah. And, and I think I used to say this all the time back in the day that like there's so many guys that copy and paste. But the problem with copy and paste is that you're never going to be the original. Yeah. So you've got to find your own way sure. of staying interesting. And I skate. That's what I do. Yeah. If there's a skateboarding fucking event... But you're not event, skating on the fucking decks, Manuel. Yes, but that's how I keep my brand on the interesting. Decks. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> yes. Yes. But you know what I mean. I what you're it's, it's, it's too much copy and paste. Mm. Everyone must find their own way. And I don't know what the answer is to how you as a DJ can stand out. But you got to so, find your own way to stand up. But until then, mm. we're going to be here for a very long time. But true that. Another thing that was like a DJ's playing, like if I, like a DJ get booked at, let's say Sumo, and let's say, what's under Sumo? Haram. Haram. Yeah. Montana which is, now. Which Haram called, actually means sin in the Islam language. It's called so Montana, Montana now. It's, it's called Montana. Montana. Oh, they changed the name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank God they changed the name. <laughs> now it's Montana. Tony Montana still. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're gonna say free. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, okay, the, the the DJs playing the same set at different gigs. Yeah. Like that also is something that people speak. We we'll become about. lazy. I know I've done it a few times because I become lazy. Yeah. I don't sit there and practice where as at home I used to sit there and practice. Mm. Because now I've gotten to the point where as a DJ if I like playing new music. Mm. And now when you sit back there, it's like, shit, playing mm. new music probably doesn't work. Yeah, but but for me, it's, yeah. Actually. So for me, I'm really? like, actually, I, do I should uh. actually start doing new music. I should not care. I should not let people dictate to me what to do. But I should actually educate people like, yo, here's something new, which is wavy, and I'm just putting on to you guys. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's how you break people. That's that's what, I swear I'm not pushing on a gig. Yeah. That's what Industry Sundays is about. Every single DJ that's playing it is us introducing music, one and two, all we're doing there is pushing hip hop. We have one house set just to break it. But all we're doing is pushing hip hop because hip hop is struggling right now. It is. That's why we're starting in a small little room to eventually get to an arena. When we say hip hop is struggling, what do we mean? Like people. Because I feel like hip hop artists are making a lot of money more than they've ever been. Yeah. Hip hop artists are making money, but I the think. The sound. I think. The sound is the struggling. Sound, the sound bit. is struggling because you'll get to an event. Where I remember there was a point where. House was dope, but then when hip-hop came on, everybody would like, come alive. Yeah. Now it's the other way around, other because way my around, pianos yeah. come in, and that's I the come alive. I actually saw a tweet yeah. last night, and a, and a, and a, and a girl was saying um, she was so mad that last night in the club, she heard four hip-hop songs. She's glad uh, Shake and I were coming to Bloom. Watch, I didn't make it to the gig, but she was like, what the actual fuck? I was there for like five hours. I heard four hip-hop songs, you know? The like, sound is struggling. Yeah. And, and things will change. It's up because obviously also House saw us doing our thing and they were like, yo, let's get into our bag. Mm. Nazi, we have to learn. Yeah, and we got comfortable. Go, we got really comfortable. Mm. I just know? think hip hop, we're not relating to the people. Man. We're and not. Also, we're not telling people stories, we're not relating to it. So it's one of those things where as if you if something does not interest you, why like it? Mm. Isn't there a divide? I feel like there's uh they're the born freeze yeah. and then there are the chasing 50s yeah and i feel like there is a divide definitely you know and i'm not expecting these new kids to want to hear them do sample no you know um i just don't know but i definitely know that there is a divide but it doesn't have to for me it's not about them do sample i don't have to go sample and do i just have to make it feel like i actually relate to south africans I got you. you know what i mean even I just the you. content and what i say and it's just like Actually, I know what this guy's talking about. And this is us. For me, it's like listening to Burner Boy, right? Yeah. And his songs, and I can hear, I'm like, shit, this guy is actually talking about like Nigeria. I can actually envision it as well. Like, oh, okay, cool. Mm. So this guy's going through the same struggle as we go through. Mm. Oh, okay, cool. It's politics. You can hear he's talking about politics. He's touching then and there about mm. the corruption and how they live. Whereas I feel like hip hop, we don't do that. And you, yeah, you're right. Straight up. Whew. All right, well, uh, thank you so much for joining us again for another podcast episode. Really appreciate all of your feedback. It's important to us. You look so good, keep money. on giving us, <laughs> continue giving us comments. Thank you to all the, all the people who are giving me love. I appreciate it. Keep on showing it. And uh, keep on subscribing and keep on watching. 
And yeah, man, I guess we'll check you next time. And I'm going to keep on smoking. <laughs>